We're really lucky having this Cayman lizard. Uh, there's not a lot of them in zoos in Britain. One of the main problems I think that people have is because they're a specialist snail feeder. So in the wild, they hunt underwater, pick up things like snails, maybe crayfish and other little bits and bobs. So we actually buy in snails from a supplier that sells to restaurants to feed to our lizards. If you talk to a lot of keepers, you'll find that they tend to have a bit of a list of animals that they've always wanted to work with, always wanted to be around. And the caiman lizard is really high up on my list since I was a child. And I knew that they ate snails, and I knew that, you know, they hunted underwater, etc. But it wasn't until we actually got our one here that you could see just the amazing way he does it. If you get the chance to see him, you'll see that he actually uses his little forked tongue and he's tasting the water around him to try and narrow down where the snail is. Then he'll suddenly bump into a snail, grab it, and there it goes. If you watch him, what he does, he takes it up to somewhere at vantage point, and then he slowly rolls it around and around in his mouth so the shell starts to get crushed and bits fall out of the side of his mouth. And so he doesn't actually eat very much of the shell at all. It's quite amazing. 